Okay, so this is a Queen battle about a first aid responder services. Time right now, it is Sunday, August the 22nd, 7.08 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I'm here in Boston. I am going through a couple of topics today, and then hopefully who's ever on my social media feed will get this topic across, okay? Um, I look like Muslim, which is okay, but I'm still uh, trying to um, pretty much talk to you guys about what's going on. And then you will be able to share the same message and get along with me, okay? Um, I want to talk right now with um, the topic of my of my uh, next video is, is saying pretty much I need somebody to walk with me, to walk with me, to walk beside me. So the topic of my next uh, video right now is called needing someone to walk with me, okay? Now, I, my, I'm a queen. I'm a single black female in the city of Boston, Massachusetts with over 5 to 10 million people. New York, about, about maybe three, 3 to 4 million people. One to, 1 to 3 million people here in the city of Boston. More, give, or, give or take. Now, usually if you're in a city this big, you usually have a set network of friends as well as a set a group network of community around you to hang out with, to chill with, to talk with, to go out to the movies, to go out for a drink, to go to a party. You usually have a set group network of friends to hang around with and chill or to hang around and have a good time. If you want to go out, go out and have a party or whatever, you have a, a set network of friends. Okay? A set network of friends. So, it doesn't matter how old you are. You could be in high school. You could be in college. You could be in a nursing home. <laughs> you could be a businessman. You could be a congressman. You could be a pastor. You could be a minister. You could be a nun. Okay? You could be... <laughs> you could be... A, uh, anybody. You could be a father of, of a Catholic church. Whoever you are. You could be a professor at Harvard University, at MIT. Whatever you're doing, working at a grocery store, Wherever you're doing here in Boston or in big cities just in general, you have a group network of friends that you hang around with. A group network of friends. Now, usually, if you are isolated in a city this big, it's because you usually make a choice to remain isolated and alone. Now, if it doesn't really matter, okay? Even if you have uh, issues, uh, social anxiety issues, you still have a set network of friends, somebody to call with, or somebody to connect with, even if you have social anxiety issues, okay, even if you're struggling with depression, even if you have a mental illness behavior issues, you always have a group set, a support system around you in a city like Boston. Now, again, I, like I said, if you don't, it's because you choose to, re to remain that way, or it could just be because of your social network around you, or it just because of you having a lack of support in your life, okay? A lack of support in your life in order for you to remain silent and alone by yourself. And so, I'm not making the choice to, re to remain silent alone by myself. I'm not, okay? I am a very public person. I am a very nice and social person. But still, I find myself usually all the time, okay, all the time, walking alone. It can be, it doesn't be a night, it can just be walking alone in the broad daylight. In, in the daytime, I'm alone by myself at school, in the schools. I'm alone by myself in the library. I'm alone by myself when I sleep at night. I'm always by alone. And I really don't understand if it is has to deal with uh, issues with abuse, abusive situation, okay, with domestic violence. Or if it has to do with a lot of issues with just the city or people in, in society, in, in, in public society, not accepting me for who I am. Or just being a black woman and going through a lot of prejudice and hate. And a lot of other black women also going through the same thing. Where they need somebody to walk with them and not to be alone and isolated. And usually for me, I'm always, I'm just pretty much always alone and isolated. And I, you know, I, I 
going to counseling, I'm doing therapy, I'm a published writer, I am involved in a community, I have a nonprofit, but I still find myself very much isolated and alone. And it's a struggle. It is a struggle to identify with this issue. Why am I always alone? Okay, so I'm a very friendly person, I'm also a very mature person, so I understand what it is to get along with young people, as well as it is to get along with older people as well. Okay, so that is another big issue to talk about with. And sometimes it's either an issue with hate, or an issue with people just not accepting you for who you are, and pushing you in a direction where I deal with a lot of social issues like, well, she needs a man. She's broke. She's homeless. She needs a man. But still, when I did have a man, he locked me beside the house with his, with his nasty, dirty dog. And I'm going through a legal issue with the same person who still continues to call me. Or you have to deal with the social issue where she doesn't have her friends, but the only friend she should have should be her husband. But even in other close sets, or even in different religions, that is not, not the issue with women. Women are very much involved socially with other women or with other people in general. You really don't need permission to have friends in different social, social sectors, as well as in, in cultural activities. You don't need permission to have friends, or you don't need permission to have somebody walk beside you. But in, in other cultures, like the Muslim community, the Amish community, even the Jehovah Witness community, it is frowned upon and it is shamed upon for a woman to walk alone by herself. It is shamed and frowned upon that a woman needs a male escort to walk with her. It is frowned upon, especially in the Muslim community. For a, for a woman to be alone is frowned upon. So there are a lot of other issues to address, but having to me have to deal with, and sometimes if you're going through a lot of issues, a lot of struggles by yourself, okay, a lot of struggles in life in general, okay, you have to figure out a way to fight through that, to fight that in, which I'm wearing, I, I talk with my hands, but you have to figure out a way to fight that Okay, to fight to the to the situation. So I'm dealing with people on M MBTA. I made a phone call to the police. I'm like, I'm like, I called it. I called bus police today. I was talking to myself. I was like, this is not funny. What I'm dealing with on the MBTA. This is not funny. This is a serious, serious issue. The train conductors are laughing about me. People in Boston. Boston is a big city, but still. Um, if, if your business is on the street, your business is on the street. And that's how it could be in a domestic violence situation. Somebody could put you out on the street or your family could put you out on the street and leave you to suffer for yourself and suffer the consequences and come back to that, to that violent relationship that you left with before. And you still even leaves you even more alone and leaves you even more isolated than before in a more abusive environment okay and in a Muslim community it is frowned upon I was watching say on YouTube they have special rules against women walking alone on the street I'm wearing this scarf today. It looks cute. I just thought it might look cute. But it is frowned upon, even here in America. Not just Muslim, but people, just young people in general. You're always with friends. You're always with young people. You're always hanging out. Walking, uh, they're always hanging out with each other, walking down the street with each other, hanging out, smiling, having a good time, laughing, conversing.
If someone's by themselves by alone, they're usually riding a riding a bike alone by themselves, riding a skateboard alone by themselves, eating a burger by themselves. <laughs> you don't need people to help to, to do what you want to do, but you can still have other friends and other support systems in your life. It is front upon in in this climbing on the street on the street here, Northeast University here. Okay, whatever street this is, in this Boston, the city of Boston. Okay, to be alone and to continually, continually be alone and continually be isolated by yourselves. And what I was reading today is that in the Muslim community. Most women need to have to ask permission to go somewhere to do something. So they can have an escort to protect them as well as just people knowing about them what they're doing. But it could be it could be a good thing but at the same time it could turn into a negative connotation as well. So I'm just constantly going through the same emotions like why am I always alone? Why am I always walking by myself? I'm like, this is not a video journal, this is reality for me. I'm not writing this out. This is a this is a real this is the real real deal. This is reality for me. Being alone, walking down the street alone, having to face reality that I will be alone for the rest of my life. Like I have some other people in my life that have been alone. It is a real reality. So if you have any thoughts, comments, or experiences, just talk to me. This is LaQueen. Okay? Email me at battlefirstaid at iCloud.com. B-A-T-T-L-E, the number one, S-T-A-I-D, at iCloud.com. Talk to me about what it means when you need somebody to walk with you. Okay? Alright. This is the Queen Bell, first aid. Love you guys. Bye.